morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Feeling really good this morning. Don't look really good, but I feel really good. <laughs> I mean, I'm beautiful. But my mouth looks like it hurts. My mouth does hurt. And I do have this new thing now where, because you know me and adhesives. So I get a little, like, adhesive rash there. If anybody has a trick for that, I'd appreciate it. Sorry. I just picked you up, and then I moved my tripod, and I messed the whole camera up, so... Womp womp. There we go. You know, I realize I never told you guys about this. Is that this is behind me and it, it does look really good in videos. Um, but do you know that this is what I see when I lay in bed? <laughs> because my surgery is on my right leg, I tend to lay on my left side more. And my left side faces this wall. And I can see my corner. Um, and my cute little area. Now this is what... This is what inspires me to keep going. You know, you guys, all your beautiful messages up there. I've got lots more to hang. Um, just waiting for, waiting for my assistant. Um, I, I just am in so much love with you guys. It's, it's kind of outstanding. Uh, could be overwhelming at times because I know that I would fight this fight, whether or not I knew you guys. But you guys really do give me just another step of motivation. Just another push of motivation to keep going. Now, I have to tell you, I'm really, really loving my beanies. Um, this one's really cute. It's like navy blue. But the reason I am wearing it today is just because I'm cold. It's cold in here. That's why the Snuggie's on today. It's cold, period. Mm -hmm. uh, we, actually, it's so cold. We had a little brownout this morning here in Rala. So... And it's supposed to be warmer today than it has been. So why is it so cold right now? I don't know. The other thing is, I have my booty socks. And while I was wearing my booty socks all day yesterday, my feet felt warm. But as soon as I took them, not as soon as I took them off, but as I took them off, I realized my feet were cold underneath it. But at least they kept them from being colder, I guess. So I just thought that was funny. I had to share. I did order some. As I told you guys, I was gifted um some very generous um donations um and i was able to order some supplies that i needed but i was also able to order um another nightgown that i wanted um because what i have now is i realized that the nightgowns with the t-shirts over them work the best so uh, that is where we are currently uh, I have my coffee this morning I'm gonna warm up my hands I said to Jim I'm like I love my cups but I'm supposed to drink out of a straw so let me tell you about that little bit of stuff that I did yesterday and I was getting a little melancholy but it worked out and then I'll tell you all about it in a second I just need to have a sip of this So, my beautiful friend sent me my calcium gummies, which are working out fantastically. Thank you. Um, I have to have uh, five a day because they're 250 milligrams each, um, which is fine. Uh, I don't have to eat the five at once, though. That's good. So, I figured I'd have one for breakfast, one with lunch, and one, and two, I mean, two with lunch and two with dinner. Or I may have one like, spaced out i'm not really sure how they're um they are coated in like a sugary substance so i have to eat them slowly i can't just like put them in my mouth and chew them because it's almost like um not dots but what's the one that's coated in sugar like, oh look i literally just couldn't remember gumdrops like two seconds it's crazy mm. We did a little grocery shopping this morning because I needed some specialty foods. One thing that I've been having trouble with, and I'm going to find out today if it can be resolved with the type of water that I drink, is the water is burning my mouth. Tap water, even filtered water, bottled water, and even purified water, they add minerals back to it. So the minerals help us 
with everyday nutrition. However, I have all the nutrition that I'm getting from other things. So I think I need to drink purified water. The reason I'm saying this is because I need to stay hydrated. And if water is going to burn my mouth, I'm not going to be able to stay hydrated because it hurts. It burns, like burns, like almost like I'm drinking orange juice on a regular mouth. That's what the water feels like it's doing to me. Um, I'm drooling a lot, uh, which is kind of funny. I think because the, the uh, lack of lip closures, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. Um, Jim's making some breakfast this morning. This morning, we're going to try putting protein powder in our oatmeal. And I say our because it's mine. <laughs> He's going to do it, and I'm going to eat it. Um, I love the oatmeal. It's so uh, soothing on my mouth. However, it's not a good source of protein first thing in the morning. And, in, and I don't really have stomach room for like a hard boiled egg and then oatmeal so it's vanilla protein powder it's organic i thought let's go ahead and give it a shot and he's going to try to mix it in there just one scoop or whatever the pro the portion is or he's going to come and ask me i think that's what he said i'll come back and ask you what you want me to do and for um he's going to mash up half a banana in there which uh bananas have a lot of sugar bananas are what i like to keep in the house if i'm having a really low blood sugar Problem is they don't last very long. So they do have a naturally high amount of sugar. That's why so many banana bread recipes don't have additional sugar. So many like uh, smoothies have just bananas as a source of sweetness, um, just to give you an idea. Now, as a normal person, do you need to know this? Probably not as a diabetic or type two diabetic. Yeah, you probably do need to know this <laughs> because something like a banana can really spike your blood sugar if you're not careful. Depending on how ripe it is and how big it is, how much of it you eat, and that type of thing. I also found, and I don't know where we put them when we came in last night, that I, uh, as far as suck on candies are concerned, I haven't found any yet until last night <laughs> that work. And the reason I said is because most of the suck on candies are fruit based, and the fruit acids really have been hurting my mouth. But what I did find is the sugar-free Werther's coffee and caramels. They seem to be perfect. I told you that milk kind of coats my mouth. That's why shakes work so good. Um, I'm getting more low-carb ice cream tonight, so I'll have some more shakes material. Um, it's really been the best thing for my mouth. It's just so relieving for a longer period of time that even the Miracle Mouthwash... Miracle mouthwash makes me numb, but if I do, like, move my mouth around, it will just get irritated again. Um, not as harsh, it doesn't hurt as bad, but it'll get irritated. The ice cream not only soothes it with the coldness, the shake not only soothes it with the coldness, but it also coats it with the fat, the milk fat, and it helps relieve the pain for uh, quite a while. Plus, milkshakes usually are, tend to be type quite thick and take a long time to actually eat. So the relieving feeling lasts so much longer. Now, can I have a milkshake 24-7? I mean, I can. Technically, that's what the website said. As long as you're getting some nutrition in you, right? But what else does it have in you? Not so much. So, um, this weekend, um, Jim's going to teach mom how to make smoothies. And, and Jim say, I say that with a tongue-in-cheek because Jim doesn't know how to do it either. So they're going to learn together how to work the smoothie machine. When I had my Pampered Chef party two years ago, um, I earned a blender. Um, it was what I got as my hostess reward. And the blender had a smoothie attachment because all intents, we were going to do smoothies then. I brought the protein powder, not the one that I have now. I brought a different one. <laughs> I brought the protein powder and all the fruit, frozen fruit to have, um, to have smoothies. And it just didn't work out for me. That being said, it um, is something that I'm going to need now. Now, will I be putting vegetables in my protein shake? I don't know. My digestive system is still not right. And the doctor confirmed what the websites had said. The nutritionist on the nutritionist on 
<clears throat> let me start that over again. The doctor had confirmed what the nutritionist said about irritated stomachs, cooked fruits and vegetables. Uh, and I say canned fruit, uh, applesauce, canned fruit. And, and I say canned fruit, but they're like little cups. You guys know that, right? And um, cooked vegetables. Now, the thing I like is I love cauliflower rice. But today I purchased a whole bunch of like mashed sweet potatoes. Um, because mashed potatoes would be great if I could have potatoes. White potatoes still spike me. I had some not too long ago and I didn't have such a good reaction. So I found mashed sweet potatoes. Now I did find also a combination, uh, instant mashed sweet potatoes. It's potatoes and sweet potatoes in mash. So we're gonna see how that works. This has a protein powder in it. Is it one scoop? Yeah. What is, is that what the thing says? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yay. Nice and creamy. Smash banana in Yeah. Good job, babies. It it's got all the other stuff in it, right? Like the sugar and yeah. cinnamon and stuff. Oh, it's yeah. very hot. Of course, it just came. I know. I'm so used to like eating it half an hour later. Yeah. The other half of the banana is. Oh, okay. So Can I have the spoon? The other spoon I asked about? The tea Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's okay. These don't fit my mouth anymore. I'm getting plastic ones today in the grocery pickup. Okay. Little tiny plastic ones. Okay. It's kind of funny because all these years we were using like the cheap plastic ones. Mom likes to get plastic ones. Oh, yeah. every time I open the door. But mom likes to use the cheap, the, the plastic ones, and she wanted to upgrade to the good plastic ones. But I realize now I need the cheap plastic ones because they're way smaller. Jim actually gave me one. He's like, we had one left over. Like when I, when we get them from restaurants, I put them in the basket. And, you know, if we don't use them, I put them in the basket. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, this was new. Like, you just opened that protein powder, right? That was the new oh, yeah. one? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure we're talking about the same one. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sweetheart. Thank you so much. I have to. Oh! It's all right. I don't care. Uh, My floor is clean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> This is what I'm going to eat with. Let's check it out. Hey, where are you going? We what? were testing this because if this is gross, you could just make me new oatmeal. That's why we're testing oh. on a day when you're here. I don't know. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not terrible. Thank you. You're welcome. Definitely feels good on my mouth. Well, one of the things the nutrition website said, don't eat anything too hot. Don't eat anything too cold. They actually didn't say anything too cold. They said don't eat anything too hot. My coffee has been sitting here for a while, but this has to sit and rest for a little bit. Try to balance. Um, my new headband's working great. I do have, let me see if I can, because I put it on in a video yesterday that I didn't share with you guys because I fell asleep in the middle of it. <laughs> this is my beanie. I'll share my beanie with you. This was the one that was eight ninety nine, and oh. <laughs> This is the one that was eight ninety nine, and it's got the headphones and microphone uh, in it as well, so you can wear it outside and stuff. And it actually, this one has the better microphone, but not the best speakers. Um, that should be okay. Let me see. There we go. A lot of people are really bothered by the fact that I touch my face so much. Now, I understand that we're in the middle of a pandemic, but I don't touch my face after, like, going out in public. I wash my hands. But I touch my face a lot. It's my face. Um, something that I just ate is burning my mouth. Um, 
about the water, I had Jim run my dish, my cups through the dishwasher last night. Um, and then I'm getting some distilled water. Now it says don't drink distilled water all the time because it doesn't have the nutrition you need. However, there was a suggestion for people who have cancer. Uh, so people have certain types of cancer. Um, and I'm thinking this is why. This is exactly why. I guess I'm not the first person to have a burning mouth who can't drink um, filtered water or purified water because it hurts. <sighs> My electrolytes as well. My electrolytes are not being ingested because <clears throat> they burn. Which does make a huge difference. Um, I would literally like to try cooler water because it's pH balanced and I don't have a bottle, but Jimmy said maybe when he goes out today, he'll grab me a bottle, but, uh, it's expensive anyway. And if the distilled water works well enough, I'm fine with it. Um, let's see what's on the agenda this week. Nothing. I have no appointments. I have no events. I have no plans. But stuff is happening around the house. We're getting new gutters installed on Monday. Mom has uh, an appointment. Pretty important appointment on uh, Wednesday. No, Thursday. Jim's going to take off to go with her. So it's, it's one that he needs to be there. I would be there with her if I could. Um... Let's see. Uh, trying to think of what I was just talking about. Or what I was going to talk about today. Got my new calcium chews. That's great. They're so much better than trying to chew Tums. I... Oh, that's what I was talking about. So I ordered... A whole bunch of food. Um, I ordered these instant Idahoan sweet potatoes. However, they do say that they're potato and sweet potato. So I will definitely try them. Jim likes sweet potato mash too, so I'll try them. And if I don't like them, Jim will eat them, so that's fine. Or I shouldn't say if I don't like them. I'm sure I'll like them if they spike my blood sugar. <laughs> because mashed potatoes it just seemed seem like the perfect food for me right now. Besides ice cream. Now, I bought all these fudgicles and popsicles, and they're sometimes they're a little hard to get in my mouth. Yeah. But I do what I can do. That's all I can do. Do what I can do because I can't do anything else. And the orange fudge, the orange popsicles hurt. I guess the acidity of the orange. I had cherry, they're okay. I didn't have a grape one yet. I had a grape, I had a cherry one, an orange one, an orange one. I was like, ah, I get it out. Fudgicles help too um they don't really have any fat in them but they do help they're creamier they also said cream based soups so i ordered some excuse me i ordered some uh cream of broccoli and uh something else and then i ordered gluten-free cream of chicken and cream of mushroom online that are getting shipped here but we actually have a can, I think, left over from when Julie was here. I found them at Walmart. I think my Walmart was just sold out. And they were like, we'll ship it to you. So um, that was one of the reasons that I ended up placing that order and getting that nightgown. was because um, $35 minimum to get free shipping. Excuse me. There you go. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. So... Uh, I added the nightgown that I wanted anyway, so it works out okay. There was some other stuff, though, that I could only get shipping. Can't remember. Now, um, not important. It's not important. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, cream-based soups. 
oh custard they typed in custard and now i typed in custard in the walmart app and it came up rice pudding and i was like well okay now granted that there is sugar in the rice pudding and there is white rice in the rice pudding however it is only four ounce cups six ounce cups and i don't think that amount in one serving will affect me that much especially since i'm not going to be having it like as a meal you know plus custard does have fat does have protein <laughs> excuse me i'm sorry it doesn't want to go out with the snee with the blowing and it doesn't want to go back with the sniffling and it's just stuck there and i can't stand it sometimes we had to order a new warm mist vaporizer i, I hope it comes ours just doesn't work anymore and they actually don't sell them anymore or they are so out of stock then you can't get them anymore. Even on even on Amazon, they all say when you click on them, they all say out of stock, out of stock. The one that's in stock is forty dollars. Walmart sells one. Their brand was ten bucks, and I was like, "Yep, sounds good." Can't be any shittier than the one that's not working. Excuse my language, but I know that that will help a lot. Um, I we do we've been putting the cold mist on in the meantime. You know, at least I have some moisture in the air. Um. I have to tell you, the Band-Aid treatments have really been helping a lot. Except, you know, they're hurting my upper lip. Is that actually adhesive or did I rip my skin? Because it feels like texture, but I took alcohol swab to it last night and it was burning. So, I don't know. I might have actually had an abrasion there. I have to put on my glasses and get close to the mirror and figure it out. Because, you know, when you get old, you can't just look in the mirror. You got to put your glasses on to look in the mirror. When I was younger and I used to look through those Carol Wright catalogs or, um, what was it besides Carol Wright? Uh, oh, it just went out of my head. But do you see, like, those magnifying glasses that drop down? And I was like, why would anybody need that? Look at their eyes. Look at their makeup. While they put their makeup on, they can see. I uh, know. So I ordered, not I didn't order them actually. I put a bunch of peepers into the shopping cart for next payday. Jim needs blue light blocking light uh, glasses for when he plays on the TV at night. And they won't have any magnification on it. But then he also needs an upgrade on his pairs. Um, so he asked for those. And then these. Are becoming way too big like see yeah they're on the outside of there and they're still gonna fall off um they're just getting stretched out over the time you know it happens so um i don't know when i'll be getting those but i have those in my um in the peepers cart and what else is going on i am keeping busy i'm keeping myself distracted I talked to a very dear sweet friend and I asked this dear sweet friend who has been battling medical issues for a long time and has faith like no other I've seen. And I just said, how do you know when you know in your soul and your soul is good because it takes you like that. You feel if you feel like even the slightest bit melancholy for a second, you know, it just whips right around and, uh, I said, how is it that you can justify to your body or remind your body or, you know, how does that? And uh, she was so sweet to message me back and just say, I, I just keep distracted. You have to keep distracted so you don't think about the symptoms. And I have to tell you, it's it's been what I've been doing. I just wasn't sure if there was anything else. <laughs> I actually said, yeah, I put the TV on with an old movie while I'm playing on solitaire or anything while I'm flipping through TikTok on my phone. what happens um i've always told you guys that i feel like there's three gears in my brain i don't have to be engaged two has to be engaged at one time one has to be engaged with something nonsensical so i can concentrate on the other two but nowadays i don't even want to concentrate on any of them i just want to like run through the motions if i'm gonna fa if i'm gonna lose this solitaire game whatever it is if i'm gonna lose this round of candy crush i don't care that's not why i'm here to i'm not here to win i'm here to be distracted <laughs> um 
to try to help me sleep. I have been listening to the headband. I'm sorry, I have it charging right now. I've been listening to the headband. I've been taking my pain medication, recovering my lips, and it's really, really been helping. Stay asleep. Now, uh, do I stay asleep as long as I have in the past? No. Um, that first night, no, I didn't sleep ever like that first night. Um, I shouldn't say that. That's that's a lie, but you know what I mean. It feels like in a long time. Um, but I slept. I sleep. I sleep a good seven you know, the other night I think was five, but then I was up for an hour and then went back to sleep for a couple. So I'm sleeping and that's what I need. I need to rest. My body will not heal if it does not rest. The worst part is, is I wake up and I take my bandaid off cause you know, this, and it's full of drool. <laughs> and then I fall back to sleep and then I'm like, oh great. I drool blood on my bed or my pillow on my chuck or whatever it is. So it's just kind of funny because I'm like, the whole point, the whole point of, of putting the band-aid on so you don't bleed all the place. But um, I think that's going to be it for today. I don't know how long this is, but I've been chatting, but I'm so grateful for all of you for joining me, even if it's just for a little while this morning. I love you. If nobody's told you today that you're loved, you can always come by here and hear that you are loved. I love you and I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by every day and visiting with me because it really does help me move forward um, with my treatment. I do appreciate it. I really do. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye.